a note now, shortly after liftoff. One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus GLS two seconds. GLS is go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The Space Launch System is now counting down to liftoff of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engines start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Hearing good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q in about one minute and nine seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. now traveling 607 miles per hour. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust quiet here in the loops in Mission Control. The four core stage engines are throttling down ahead of passing through Max Q. Now one minute, 21 seconds into the flight, traveling at 1,420 miles per hour. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison at about two minutes and 11 seconds into the flight. So about 30 seconds from now. jettison and shortly thereafter. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. And we have confirmation of core stage main engine cutoff, Orion is now in Earth's orbit. The flight dynamics officer reports that we have a nominal main engine cutoff. And we just heard the call for core stage separation. That means Orion and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage are now flying free from the core stage of the space launch system. The next milestone will be solar array deploy approximately 18 minutes after liftoff. But before Orion stretches its wings, let's check back in with our friends at Kennedy Space Center and hear... We caught a glimpse there of those solar arrays, and with all four solar arrays properly deployed, Orion's journey to the moon continues, and we've got... Orion now traveling at 19,700 miles per hour, 2,270 miles away from Earth. We're expecting that stage separation to happen in about a minute. As you can see, we have confirmation of interim cryogenic propulsion stage from Orion. With the Earth in the background and the moon is our destination, Artemis Generation, we are going.